need to tell people why and they need to get the word out there. Natalie Pizzetti relieved to hear the MBTA is shutting down the Alewife parking garage for the weekend for emergency repairs and safety inspections. Our cameras were there this afternoon as MBTA crews worked to assess the garage's condition, chipping away at crumbling concrete, some of it just above a daycare center. Not long before, five pieces of concrete had fallen in the area where vehicles enter and exit the garage. The lot full sign went up and cars could no longer enter. I thought my car was stolen because there was no kind of sign anywhere telling me otherwise. So I was um, having a panic attack. Hours earlier, Pizzetti says she arrived to pick up her car parked on level two, but it was gone. She says T police told her debris had fallen last night and dozens of cars had to be towed to a different area so emergency repairs could be made. I feel like they were being irresponsible. You owe it to the person who's parked there who is paying to be there to at least say something. The deteriorating conditions inside Alewife, no surprise to MBTA officials. Five investigates first reported yesterday that safety concerns were raised as far back as 2011. An engineering consultant hired by the T found several areas of concrete deterioration and warned it could get worse. Five Investigates discovered another consultant's report delivered just nine months ago that said deterioration was widespread. The report noting the condition of concrete support beams on two garage levels was between critical and possible imminent failure and suggesting the possibility that concrete quality issues are also playing a role in the deterioration. The T just awarded a repair contract this week, but some commuters say it doesn't appear soon enough. Officials say they're still working on a long-term plan for the Alewife garage. I don't think I'm going to park here in the near future until the problem is fixed. Now, just yesterday, the T awarded a nearly $6 million contract for repairs that will begin next month. But those repairs to beams and patching of concrete are to ensure the garage can remain open in the short term. Officials say they are still trying to come up with a long-term solution for the Alewife station garage. Live at Alewife, Karen Anderson, 5 Invest.